Hello guys and welcome to the first project time lapse where we're gonna go through the last session that I did sculpting the flex flex blend shapes to the facial rig that we're working on with Bob here and we're doing this to get the maximum value to you so that we can watch all the process instead of a or segments of it with the live stream the way that I have been doing for the last 55 sessions and in particular because I needed a little bit more time in this one to get the shapes to the utmost point where we could apply them to the rig so let's jump here into the time lapse it's already rolling and you can see that I was working on the Levato Lobby Superioris or the upper lip razor and the lower lip depressor and also the lip the corner puller and the buccinator that is going to stretch the smile to the maximum we do have a 3d scan that we are using as reference and that we have the shape that's called happy where the actor is doing the happiest face that he can possibly get and uh, with that we then have a good reference to know what we're trying to achieve and using then these different facial shapes the depressor the upper lip razor and the corner puller also the buccaneer we then adjust them and try to match that shape we're then using a cluster the former to achieve the buccaneer that it is stretching the smile a little bit more with that we're using a non-destructive process so that we can get that shape to the perfect point without having to commit using a sculpting tool where we wouldn't have a way to get back to the, uh, the previous spot that we were. And uh, at the end, I was also adding a combo shape that was the cheek razor. And here we can see the actual result and the current state of the rig. So this is our friend Bob here moving. And this shape here is actual, actually a combination of all of that shapes that we were sculpting. So you can see the corner puller, the upper lip razor, and the lower lip depressor. And also when we activate them together, we are getting the cheek razor and the eye wrinkler here. And that should be it for this time lapse. Once we finish all the shapes, we are going to connect them and first mirror them and then separate and add them into the file that is then brought in by our action stack. And that should finalize this particular shape and we keep moving to the next ones. And every session I'll be recording now and posting a time lapse where we are going to be watching the entire process in about three or four minutes. And uh, let's see how it goes. Let me know in the comment section below how you feel about this. I hope you guys are having a great time. And uh, that's it for today. Cheers!